All right, uh, this is Ernest. This is a MK3 Wildcat. And I'm going to change the action. Because uh, there's, there's damage. So I'm gonna change the action. I'm gonna show you how to take it apart. First thing we gotta do is degas the gun. Pull the dust cover off. Just loosen the gauge. While that's bleeding, you can take off the cheek piece, cheek rest. Then we're gonna pull a barrel out. Uh, usually in this this plug is not really it's just a plug it doesn't really you know tighten down on the transfer port if you loosen this try yank it out and it doesn't want to budge kind of lightly unseat this sometimes they tighten it down on the brass piece right. remove the stock And let's speed up the process here. Did it some more. While it's doing that, we could remove the power wheel. One screw here. Usually I want to put on uh, number one. And that's a two mil. When you remove this, there's a spring tension that wants to push out, right? You gotta fight this spring. Then there's a ball there. There's a ball right here. Remove that. Yeah. Your hammer spring adjuster, your hammer, your spring. Alright. Looks like it's bled off. I'm gonna unscrew the barrel, I mean, the air tube, right? Since now it's kind of reverse. You got two here and two on the other side. All right, when you take this apart, make sure you measure here to here, what the caliper is, reading. But usually, if you take note, this little hole here, there's a little set screw for the pro. And that that set screw is it's kinda in this position. So when you put it back, make sure you see the little mm, screw down there to make sure your transfer port is aligned. This linkage and everything is aligned with the transfer port if you line it up here. It's kind of quicker way of uh, reassembling it and find the right alignment for the probe. All right, then uh, it's gonna unscrew it.
Now let's see the quickest way of doing this. Go and remove the trigger, the trigger here. Uh, bear with me. Now you gotta remove this uh, bracket. We want to remove the, the trigger assembly linkage. And you have to push pin out this pin and watch out for the little spring behind it now we want to loosen this For your cocking rod linkage. Now carefully pull out the assembly. There you go. Now it's not going to slide out till you remove the, the shear assembly out. So, pretty good. Hammer. So here's a screw that you can see inside here. It, if you loosen that, if you remove it, you could uh, change caliber. You just kind of slide out the probe and put the new one in. But you could do this without disassembling the whole gun. You just kind of loosen that screw, pull the probe out, put the new probe in, and put your set screw in. All right? Now, this, we're gonna move. This. I had the right tool for that one right now, but I guess uh, we'll remove the safety. Safety, need to remove this screw here. Safety screw. You need to remove the screw to loosen the set screw inside here. Take this uh, safety lever off. Okay. 
That guy's pretty small. I think I found it. You just do a half, half a turn, then the safety lever comes out. Push assembly out. Then there's a ball bearing and a spring down there. Remove the spring. Remove the gauge. Since we're stripping this action, we're gonna utilize most of the fasteners that uh, we're gonna reuse. And usually this plug here is uh, Loctited. If you don't, it might blow back on you when you shoot. Well, I don't have the wrench to remove this hex. Usually just unscrews. And this hex, that's the valve retainer. Remove that, remove the valve pin and the valve seat. And that's it. You're stripped down bare naked. And usually uh, replace it with the new action I'll cover that in another video that's basically it how to strip down the Wildcat MK3 catch you next video